Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then my name's Jen and I am a self-taught nail enthusiast. Okay, that was a bit much. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. I'm a little hyper right now. Anyways, in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the December Your Nail Lab box and I'm gonna be doing a nail look for you as well. Ooh, a little bit of a surprise there, huh? A little different format today. I am trying something out. So I personally like watching videos where they do the unboxing and the nail look all in one. My husband disagrees with me. So why don't you let me know at the end of the video which format you like better? And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the unboxing part. Okay, so I went ahead and I swatched the poly gels and the polishes that they gave us. So they gave us lilac gray and nude pink. Personally, I think this pink is more of a gray, but maybe I'm colorblind. And then they gave us white and light pink in the poly gels. Now, I messed up because I initially was going to put my nails on with the light pink poly gel and I forgot and I put my nails on this afternoon. I am really sorry. It doesn't really affect my nail look. I was going to do a couple French. I'm not going to do that anymore. It's not a big deal. That's not the focus of this nail look today. So don't worry. Then these little rings. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what these things are. Are you paint them and then you put them on your bottles? so that you know what color it is if like the bottle is not colored. I think that's what this is. I don't know for sure. It makes sense though. So let me know down below if that's actually what that is. Then the next thing we have are these little magnetic fuzzy hearts. You put one side of the magnet on your nail and you can put the thing on and take it off and you could probably use the magnet with other floofy things like this. I gave the white one away to my son um, because I opened this box in front of him and of course he had to take something. So he took a little white fuzzy heart. What? I don't know. The next thing we have are these little pearl decals. This isn't really something I would put on my nails per se, but hey, maybe one of you guys would like it and you might win it in a future giveaway. Who knows? Oh, and by the way, congratulations to the winners of the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So moving right along, we have snowflakes. We have gold, white, and these hollows. I will be using these today. They are stunning. Then we have little random, I mean, they're not all snowflakes, like there's hearts in here. There are stars, little like holly leaves, just really cute stuff. There's all different colors. Some of them are kind of like hollow looking and those are probably the ones that I will use today. These are all like super cute and honestly very multi-purpose. I like that they included different shapes, other like not just snowflakes and like Christmassy things. And then we have some larger gold gems. Now, because I'm doing like more of like a hollowy like silver look. I won't use these today, but there are some really pretty things in here that I will definitely use like at a later time. The last items that are really right on par with what I am trying to do today are these hollow, uh, do you call them sequins? flakes, shapes. I don't really know what you call these things, but nonetheless, these are gorgeous. Now they gave us a bunch of these diamonds a while back. I had one of them like sitting on my desk and I had been like dying to do something with it. And Miss Jo Nails, she has been doing this accent uh, what is it? Advent Accent Adventure, like every single day, she does um, two accent nails and she made a snowflake with these ones. And I didn't know that these were coming in this box. So I was gonna use the other ones, but anyways, I'll use these ones, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna make like a little snowflake. And funny enough, it was like on a gray nail background. I think we should probably just get started. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean off my desk and just put the things that I am thinking of using back down and yeah. We'll just get started. All right, so I'm gonna start by painting. I'm gonna take this little thing off for now. It's kind of annoying, but I'm gonna start by painting the nails that are just getting plain, plain colors on them. So I'm gonna start with the light one. She's a little thick. I do this every time. I need base coat. You don't technically need it, but I think that the polish just moves smoother on the nail. So base coat. Okay, as we were. Sorry, I just really feel like when I apply polish and I have a base coat, it just glides so much better. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. I mean, I can see how this is a pink. I just wouldn't really call it pink. It's like a creamy shade. I don't know. 
more like an off-white in my opinion, but what the hell do I know? These are very creamy polishes. Sometimes I don't like that, just because I find that they're kind of harder to work with. So you almost have to like float the polish on the nail. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and paint my pinky with this reflective gel. I just think it's stunning. And I'll probably use it at, on some other part of the nail too. I'm just going all sparkles. So I don't know if I said this yet, but I feel like this could be a Christmas or New Year's nail look that I'm doing because there's not like Santa Clauses and like, I don't know, Christmas trees and reindeers. It's literally just snowflakes. So I mean, really, it's just like a winter nail look. So I will do two coats of this reflective gel. This is thick too. All right. Oh my God. That is beautiful. That is probably the most stunning like gel polish I've ever seen. This I got on Amazon last year on Black Friday and I'm just getting around to using it. Again, it's like you almost have to like float it, but I didn't quite get it over here. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ah! I didn't hit it on anything, thank God. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do two coats of everything and then I'll be back to work on the ring finger. Okay. So I went ahead, I did the two coats. That reflective gel, if you can't see how it sparkles, it's freaking gorgeous, it's killing me. So for the ring finger, I kind of want to do an ombre with these two, with the lighter one up top and the darker one at the bottom. I'm hoping that they'll ombre, ombre. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll do it and it'll be like nice looking. So let's just go ahead and put this on and bring it down towards the middle. And I like to use a certain ombre brush. They almost look like makeup brushes, the ones that I like to use. Oh God, I think I have too much polish. So I think this is probably gonna be the last video of the year for me, which is insane. That's just crazy. That's why I figured I would do something more neutral rather than like a really like crazy Christmas nail look. I just thought something more neutral, natural, maybe not everyone celebrates. Obviously, everyone doesn't celebrate Christmas, not maybe. Everybody doesn't celebrate Christmas, but you know, I feel like a lot of people celebrate New Year's. So I thought this would be like a fun little way of just ending the year with a bang and just having something really pretty and simple. I don't know. I just want this to be like, just like such a, a really pretty nail look. Something that I would wear if I wasn't like doing nails. I feel like a lot of the looks that I do, like if I didn't do my own nails, like I would not wear these looks. Like if I didn't have a YouTube channel or Instagram, like no way in hell would I wear like half of these looks that I do, but this I would wear. Okay, I'm just gonna try to go like side to side. Oh, it's, it is working. Okay, I see a little like development of color in the middle where like the two colors are kind of merging. I'm making a mess, I know, but um, trust me, it's working, it's working. <laughs> like talking to myself, but it is working. And then basically I have to like let it sit for a couple minutes afterwards to let everything settle down. All right, I think, I think that's not like terrible. I am gonna clean up the nail and let it sit to let the polish like settle back down and then I will come back and do a second layer. So I already applied the second layer of polish. It didn't look that bad, I'm not gonna lie. You're probably like, yeah, right. <laughs> but it, it didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna try this little woo, back and forth with a liner brush um, moment again. I'm gonna hit the ground running, as Miss Joe Nail says. So I'm trying to get in the middle of the nail, and I'm gonna hold it kind of like down here. And wipe my brush, and start up top, and move it down. Clean off my brush. Start up here and move it down. Okay, it's not looking horrible. It's really not, it's not, it's looking okay. You see how there's getting like this lighter gray color like in the middle? That's what I want. I actually think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna clean up my skin obviously, but I think that looks pretty good. Remember, I'm putting a snowflake on top of this so it doesn't have to be like the greatest ombre you've ever seen in your whole life, but I think that looks pretty nice. I did get some of the gray up top farther than I wanted to, but I don't hate the way that looks. I am gonna let this sit for a little bit. I did like two minutes before I cured it last time, so that way like all the streaks will settle down and it won't look horrible. I'm okay with that. 
for like maybe the third ombre I've ever done, I'm okay with this, especially since I'm putting a snowflake on top of it. Okay, I will return. Okay, my battery is about to die. So while it's still alive, I hope you can see the snowflake that's on the palette. That's what I'm gonna put on my ring finger. And this is using the little diamond pieces. Now, obviously you could make it more elaborate if you wanted. I just thought the simplicity of this was so cool. So I'm gonna grab the Gelin Extend Gel. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a thin coat to put this in and then we'll top coat it. But I just think this will help to kind of keep everything in the nail and it'll just settle in nicely. That's the ombre, it's okay. Again, like I said, I'm gonna cover it up. I haven't done very many of these, so I'm proud of this, especially for such like contrasting colors, like a very light and dark color. I think I did okay. Obviously, could it be better? Of course, anything could be better. <laughs> um, okay, these things are a pain to work with, just FYI. One. I don't like that one. It's got like a piece hanging off of it, so I don't like it. Get off, get off of my nail. Don't worry, I'll put everything where it goes. Everything will be situated. I'm just kind of trying to get them on the nail at this point. That's the focus. Pull it down just a little bit so it's even with the nail. It's so hard to see because they're so reflective, so it's like staring into the sun right now. Get back in your spot. Okay. Woo! Cure that baby. I'll coat this now because I want to make sure everything is like set in place. And I'm just using the gel and top coat. I love, like, I absolutely love these products. So I want this to be like a nice thick coat. I'm just like floating it over to make sure everything is nice and covered and you know you don't want any of these ones like poking out especially like the ones that are over here there's going to be a gap because it's a flat piece on a round nail so let's make sure nice okay <laughs> maybe that's a bit too much so let me just take some of that off overall I think that looks pretty damn good and look at that reflection Holy crap. I mean, they're like mirrors. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna cure this, clean it up and cure it before my battery dies. And for me, it'll be tomorrow, but for you, it'll be a split second. Okay, so the next order of business is to get this little diamond powder, which is probably way too big for this finger, but I'm gonna try to fit as much as I can. I just kind of laid it out on here and it looked really pretty, so I know I'll probably have to reduce it, but it is quite nice. So I'm gonna do a layer of the Extend Gel. Not like a crazy thick layer, but enough that the crystals can sort of settle in. I don't think they're big enough that I need the McCart Gel. Is that a piece of fuzz? Oh, come on. I'm just gonna wipe it with my finger because I would never get it out of there. Don't you just hate that when a piece of fuzz tries to ruin your day? Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna wipe that on my pants, don't mind me, and get started. Unfortunately, I think the snowflake is gonna be a little too big for that area, but I will move it somewhere else. I'm just gonna take it off for now. because so I want this to start like over here and sort of like come out and then go back up. I'm taking this big one off because I want the snowflakes on there, so. It takes a little bit to kind of like situate everything, so that's why like I kind of just place it on there and then I move it around. These can be annoying 
to add on the nail. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I don't use them that much because they kind of just drive me crazy. So I'm just gonna like stick my like end of this in and then let go of them. Again, haphazardly putting them on the nail and then moving them around haphazardly. So they're just kind of like space fillers, to be honest. I don't find they add much to the design. They just kind of fill in gaps for me. And you can always move things around as needed. Now I am going to cure this. Um, I'll probably cure it fully and then top coat. And I'll just kind of like push the brush into the side to make sure everything is nice and secure. These can get covered up. It's just like these sequins. It's not a big deal, all right? Hey. Ah. It's coming together, guys. All right, next order of business is stickers. So I'm gonna use these stickers on the light pink nails. And then I have these white ones. I still haven't decided which ones I'm gonna use yet on the gray nail, or not the gray nail, the reflective nail. I was thinking maybe this snowflake and this ornament, like the small one, this one, and this one on the pinky, or maybe just like a hanging snowflake or just some snowflake. I don't know yet. <laughs> I will decide. I'm just going to kind of spread it out here. I keep looking at it and then like deciding, but regardless, let's get started. This part I'm going to speed through because there is nothing more boring than watching someone put stickers on their finger, or at least in my opinion. Anyways, maybe I like to watch that. It's not, it's not for me though. It's not for me. I'm going to get going. Okay, these ugh, stickers keep breaking. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use those ones. I think I'm gonna have to use these snowflakes here because the ones that are like single pieces keep breaking. God. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Ugh. Sorry. I did that on my own because I was getting frustrated because the stickers kept ripping. I'm gonna try to do the last one without ripping it to shreds, but I swear these things are not easy to come off and the tweezers that I own just have a tendency to rip the stickers, like all of them. I have like four pairs of tweezers and they all do it, so I don't know. All right, <sighs> so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna top coat. Ooh, let me just clean this stuff up first. All right, let's get the top coat. Oh man, this is so pretty. It's honestly, I say this in every video. It's one of my favorite nail look. No, but this is really pretty. I mean, I can't even deny the fact that it's really pretty. And everything is hollow, except for the white stickers, but everything is hollow, which is so nice. Ugh, I think that I went a little extra with this nail look, but it's New Year's or Christmas, whichever day you would wear these types of nails. I think this is the perfect transition from Christmas into New Year. Great, like perfect. Or just winter nails. I mean, to be honest with you, nothing on these nails has anything to do with Christmas. So, I mean, you could totally wear this in January in the middle of, you know, frigid winter weather. I'm obsessed. Ugh love it all right i'm gonna give these a cure and then i'll just be back to say got my goodbye all right i don't think you understand i'm obsessed i love them the crystal placement the snowflake made out of sequins even the stickers ah oh, i love them i do i do i do i do uh, these little ones i got out of this little pack from the mccart box and i'm pretty sure we got these stones in a box too uh, your nail lab box. Sorry. My husband always gets mad at me when I say McCart box, but you guys know what I mean. So, you know, I'm going to hold it there so we can get a close up shot for you all because I have a tendency to wiggle my hands around and it makes it difficult for him to do that <laughs> as I just wiggled my fingers, but I wanted to spread them out so you could see everything. I love it. Thank you, Miss Jo Nail for the inspiration. Thank you, Pinterest. Thank you, Instagram for all the wonderful Christmas, holiday, winter, wonderful nails that you provided us this season to give us all inspiration on what to uh, create this year. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching, for being here. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to do so before you leave and like this video and hit that bell notification button so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye guys. Bye.